Hey guys, John here. Um, new to the review world, not new to vaping, but uh, I wanted to bring you guys something different. Something uh, everybody does mod reviews, adding reviews, you know, coil tutorials. You know, I might do some of those, but uh, I'm bringing you the juice. That's the best part. Um, because once you get the mod you want, the coil you want, in the Addy that you want, you want to know about the juice you want. And that's what the information I'm trying to bring you, you know, flavor profiles, vapability, like I like to call it, uh, how big it makes clouds, how well it tastes at like 2080. Talk about PG, BG ratios, um, prices, everything that you can think of about juice. Um, if there's a juice you have a question about and you don't want to buy it, let me know. I'll look it up. I'll see what I can do. I'll get every, every information I can out there. Um, because this community is amazing. It's, it's helped me throughout my life. And, uh, yeah, I think, I think, um, getting info out to the people helps. So knowing what you're vaping does a good thing. Um, first off, uh, I'm in, I'm in Port Wenemi, California. So, uh, these are my local guys, beach vapes. They're here. They make their own juice, um, right here. Uh, they even tell you what's in it most of the time. Uh, there's a couple that are secret, but uh, yeah, it's pretty chill. So um, I've got a whole bunch of juice. Uh, I've been asked by a few people to do this. So here, I'll give it a shot. Um, I don't get paid for any of this. I don't get, you know, free samples or anything. You want to go for it. I'm down. I'll try it. I'll give my honest opinion. I'm not about, you know, uh, favoritism or getting paid to tell you, hey, this is what it tastes like. No, I'll tell you my honest no bullshit problems with it and no bullshit uh, opinion on everything. So um, let's get started. Uh, I'm going to try to do three or four juices in a, you know, a video. Um, start with Beach Vapes because I'm repping them tonight. Um, I'm going to do three of theirs. I'm going to do spot, Sour Spot of Pink, Super Matte, made by a guy who's, uh, who works there, and Dragaboom. And it's an interesting flavor. I'll let you guys know about this. This one's... This is one of those ones a lot of people are probably going to want. Um, but let's start with Sour Spot of Pink. Um, sour Spot of Pink is sour raspberry lemonade. It's really good. The flavors are, are real crisp. You can get most of them. At first you taste the lemonade um, and then the sour and the raspberry kind of mix in the middle. It, it's, a good, it's a good flavor profile. Um, I usually vape at 2080. So uh, yeah, let's show you how it vapes. Unlock my mod. I mean, it's good juice. It's a good juice if you want a cloud chase. Um, I know a lot of cloud chasers use 100% VG, but if you want more flavor than, you know, your typical citruses or anything like that, um, even though this has lemonade in it, um, this is a good one. These uh, these guys are pretty decent. Um, I mean, their flavor is outstanding. Um, I've been vaping on this for about maybe two months now, and I usually get wore down on juices a lot, but their guy's juice, I, I just can't. I, I can vape it all day, every day. Um, but yeah, Sour Spot of Pink is pretty good. Um, cool thing about their labels real quick is they show all their info, you know, what size it is, what milligram, what PGVG ratio mix. Um, their, you know, FDA warning label, nicotine, nicotine. And then the cool part is that they, you know, data was mixed. That's always important because you want to know when you, or how long your stuff's been steeping. You know, flavor usually intensifies as you steep um, because everything starts combining, everything makes it better. It's vape magic, whatever you want to call it. Um, but yeah, it's good. It's good. Um, so we'll move on. The next one is Super Matt, made by a guy named Matt. Awesome peoples there. I'll say it again. I'll keep saying it all the time. These guys are awesome. Um, this is like a... It's a berry, a bunch of berries. They call it berry balls, but it's berries and uh, lemonade. I'm on a lemonade kick right now, but it, it's pretty good. Um, let's uh, juice it up and we'll, we'll, we'll taste it. We'll do a little bit on it. Um, usually get a little extra ideas while I'm vaping on it. On this one, you get more of the berry flavor than the lemonade. The lemonade's more of an undertone in this one instead of, you know, overpowering. Um, the berries are really good. It's a real sweet, mellow flavor. 
It's not like, you know, biting into a starburst or something where it's just like, bam. No, this one is, 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 is pretty mellow. It's pretty good. Um, it hits every flavor profile I like. It's, well, it's my number two. It's my, my secondary. It's in my rotation every day. But yeah. Um, but yeah, it's a good flavor. It's good for cloud chasing, you know, um, they make it in 2080. And yeah, the, the flavor's crisp. There's no really bad aftertaste. You know, a lot of people hear about, you know, cinnamon flavors, all those flavors that stick to your coils and you can't ever get rid of it. This is not one of those flavors. These guys, they, they have some that do that. That's why I usually stay away from them. But um, those flavors, but uh, this stuff is good. This stuff really, really keeps with you. Um, the best part with the lemonade flavors is, is they don't get old. I think that's the main part. Um, so yeah, that guy, Super Matt, the guy that made Super Matt, he's a really cool dude. Um, but the next one is the most interesting of them all. Dragaboom. It's two flavors that they have mixed together. So what it is, is Dragoonish, which is, I'm not allowed to tell the recipe because I don't know all of it. One and two, they would probably shoot me. But, you know, one of those things. Um, Dragoonish, I can tell you one thing that's in it is dragon fruit. Obviously, Dragoon, dragon fruit. And then the boom part is Baja Boom, which is the loved flavor of the new Mountain Dew. Baja. I don't, I don't even know. I don't drink Mountain Dew, but this is good. This hits you in two different flavor profiles. So it really is a nice vape. It's a clean vape. Um, it's an interesting flavor. I can vape on this all day. The reason I have so much of it right now is because I just got this. So um, don't mind that. Next time you see it, it'll probably be almost empty. But let's vape on it. We'll talk about it and we'll, uh, we'll see how you like it. It's a vibrant flavor. That's, that's the crazy part about it is you look at it and you, you taste it and, um, you get that Baja mix right at the beginning and it just hits you, it kicks you, it kicks you. And then you touch that dragon fruit comes in the end and whatever else they have mixed in there, it just, it's an undertone. And it's a really clean, crisp flavor. You can taste everything that's in it. So, uh, really good juice, really good flavor. Um, obviously good clouds. Um, they mix real well over there and they work with you. Say you want more of one part and another part, they'll do it. They'll do it. They're real good guys. So now here's my second part. So these juice, juice makers and manufacturers is customer service. Um, that is the biggest by far. You could have the best juice in the world. And if you have shitty customer service, I ain't going to buy your juice, but that's most people. Um, these guys, uh, like I said, they work with you. They're really cool. Their prices are outstanding. Um, 120 milliliters for 40 freaking dollars. You can't beat that. And then they have their own point system there that, you know, you get so many points, you get this, this many milliliters of juice and yada, yada, yada. It's good stuff. These people are cool. Um, they have an online site, beachvapes.com, I think it is, but um, they don't update it too much. They're more of on Instagram than anything. Um, and, and calling in, uh, their numbers like, yeah, right here. Um, but yeah, their customer service is amazing. They're good people. They've taught me a lot. They, I've learned a lot, not just about juice, but about mods, about building, about all of it. Um, I got my first mod through them and my first juice was through them, which is one hour review later, uh, berry balls, good stuff. We'll go over that later though. Um, but for my first vid, you know, I wanted to get out there. I wanted to show you guys things just to let you know, I'm not getting paid for any of this. I'm not getting sponsored. Nobody's giving me free juice yet. Hopefully one day that'd be pretty sweet. Um, you want to kick me some juice? Let me review it. I'm down. Um, if not, I buy most of my own stuff because I like to get out, you know, good stuff. I'm not going to sit here and show you some crappy, you know, if it's crappy, I'm going to tell you straight up. It's crappy. If it's, if it's good, I'll tell you it's good. And that's the cool part is I'm not going to bullshit anybody. So, uh, you know, hopefully this takes off. Hopefully you guys like it. Um, I know my camera sucks right now. I'm pulling the rip trippers first year videos, you know, sick as cats. Uh, big shout out to that guy though. He's awesome. Um, but yeah, so, uh, I'll catch you guys later. I'm from the spike vapor vape on.